guys, this is going to be video 10 of preparing for the bat. And what we're going to talk about in this video is preparing uh, or preparing slash forecasting to your family and your friends. So what does that mean? That means that you're just basically going to tell your family and friends your, what, you're going to, what you're planning to do, what you're going to do. And you can do it little by little and you let them know, hey, this is the road that I'm going towards. I'm, I'm looking to develop myself. I want to become more successful. I want to, you know, I don't feel like uh, I'm comfortable with where I'm at. So I want to grow myself. Right. And that's how you start it off. Right. That way it's that would, you know, they're going to be OK with that. Oh, yeah, cool. You know, blah, 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 that stuff. Right. Um, you don't want to go hardcore with the whole, this whole, you know, preparing for the bad thing, you know, because you're going to get a lot of flack and stuff. And you don't you don't need you do not need emotional uh, resistance at this point. You can you can hold you can. This because, you know, these videos are, are, are uh, assuming that, keep it real, that, you know, you're not necessarily too much of a beast, you know? Once you're a beast, you can handle all that shit. You can be like, oh, give that fucking shit. You don't care about what people think anymore. But this video is before the majority of people, and you guys are going to have to start little by little and growing yourself to that point. So you got to start telling your family and friends that, hey, I'm going to, I'm thinking about, you know, that you're going to be learning more, right? So you're going to spend more time. Maybe you're going to be reading books. You're going to be spending less time going out. You're probably going to be eating less shitty foods. You're probably going to be spending less time, you know, gossiping and fucking around, stuff like that. And you're going to be mostly focusing in on yourself, right? So this is when you have to be greedy and selfish during these times. Only for the personal, only for developing yourself so that way you can help others and help your family and prepare for the bad and your friends as well. Um, so some easy ways that I've done it is you just start off by one by one and you start off by talk say you're with your brother your sister um and you, and i'm saying one by one out when they're all there but you just start talking about it you know say after you shoot the shit with your brother sister or after you, you're talking maybe with your friends your family and friends then you you bring that up as the third topic so let's say they talk about one thing they bring something up they bring up their boyfriend their girlfriend right you start talking about that oh, okay cool and then they and then you, maybe they talk about places to go to eat all right and then you kind of wean off that conversation and at that point, that's when you kind of bring things up. Hey, man, you know, I'm wanting to become a little bit, uh, you know, I'm wanting to like become a better person, become a better man, make more money. You know, I'm, I'm not really, I'm getting kind of tired of where I'm at right now. And, that, and then they're going to probably start talking about asking you questions and whatnot. I was like, yeah, so you know what I'm thinking of doing is blah, 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 right? And I'm looking to, like, I have a list here. That's why I'm looking down here. I have a list of the, of the videos. So far, but you can let them know. Hey, I'm looking to start to work. You know, increase my work ethic. You know, I want to. Um, I want to be able to start making some more money. I want to start learning more. I want to become more intelligent. Just overall, um, I want to be able to have a better mindset. Right. I want to prepare myself. I want to become a beast in, and also for my future. But then also, you can and then you can also bring in because a lot of people already know this. You know, potential of the World War Three, potential of the recession, stuff like that. You can also bring that in little by little. So you can give them a reason of why you're preparing and I can give a stronger anchor and a stronger reasoning and I can ask and I can also interest them and also intrigue them. When you bring a stronger anchor, it can increase, it can increase the intrigue on the other person, but right? it can also increase their, their, uh, their skeptability as well. But that's why you don't want to go there too quickly unless you're able to handle that emotionally and you know how to, how to handle people. Because you don't want you don't want to get discouraged if they get all skeptical and start shit you know shitting down your throat you don't want to get discouraged so that's how you started off just maybe talk about on the third topic you let them you know you, you you talk with your family and friends as you guys are talking and then you on the third topic you slowly bring it in so that what you're gonna have to do what this video is about is forecasting to your friends and family what you're gonna be doing why you're gonna be doing it you can give a little bit of the why if you're comfortable with them and if you don't think they're gonna be too much resistance. And then you start taking action on it so that, that way they know that you're serious. Little by little, it'll be, you know, they'll start kind of, they're going to, they, a lot of the times they're going to kind of give you resistance little by little as they start seeing you do action. But then as you do it consistently, they're going to leave you alone. They're going to give you some more respect because they actually know that you actually you stick to your word and you're actually doing something. And then after a while, they're going to jump on your team, jump on your boat because they're going to see your results. They're going to be like, oh shit, this guy's actually doing it. This has happened to me many times. So just know that's what's going to happen. All right, guys, go ahead and like this video if you're getting value from it. Subscribe to my channel, of course, if, only if you're getting value. If you're not, don't do it. Look, I need, I need to deserve the subscribers. I need to deserve your guys' uh, subscription. So comment below on any questions, maybe anyone that I need to talk to, questions, tips, any ways I can improve my video. You guys have an amazing day.